Um, hello there. Um, what I'm going to be doing in this video is a th method in organic chemistry, which is called retrosynthesis. It's very uh, helpful when uh, trying to solve some synthesis problems. And basically all it is is just um, working backwards from your products to your starting material. So let's get started. Gonna draw over here two three dimethyl cyclohexanol. And what I'm asked to get or form is this epoxide. Now, we're going to be using retrosynthesis, so I'm going to be working backwards. Now, my product is an epoxide, and in order to make epoxide, you need a double bond. So, I'm going to go ahead and write that right here. And the double bond needs to be right here. Now, a great reagent for making epoxides is, I'm going to draw, is MCPBA, which stands for Metachloroperoxybenzoic Acid. And I will draw the structure of that right here. Carbon double bonded to an oxygen. And now, what we need is to form our double bond. Um, basically, we know that we can form our double bond through beta elimination. So, how are we going to get there? Well, I look at my starting material. I know I got an al alcohol group, so how can I get a double bond from there? Well, I know I could get a double bond from there by just reacting it with acid and heat. So, H2, SO4 and heat will give me this intermediate which is a secondary carbocation now going through a beta elimination would give me a double bond here or a double bond here now that's not the same as this obviously but what else can we see we could do to this intermediate? Well, we look here and we see that we have a hidden hydrogen. Now, what could happen is that this hidden hydrogen comes in and shifts to this carbocation, which forms this. I'm drawing the hydrogen for emphasis, which is a tertiary carbocation, much more stable than this secondary carbocation. And we're able to do this because it is because it forms a more stable carbocation. So now what we could do, in fact, I'm gonna draw in this hidden hydrogen as well. What comes in now is the conjugate base of sulfuric acid which is HSO4 minus and does the beta elimination and indeed gives us our product or our double bond where we want it and then reacting that with MCPB A and gives us our epoxy so and I'm gonna label this over here I dry 
shift. So there you have it.